All right, so this is in some ways a response to Mr. Kurt, but uh, it, it, it's also kind of, kind of an elaboration of uh, something I, I, was tr I was trying to say earlier. Um, um, you know, within the whole discussion about democracy versus, you know, um, experts, you know, ruling in, in certain areas. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm reminded of a friend of mine who was in med school, uh, who said that, um, she was at a teaching hospital and, uh, you know, these doctors in different fields were asked, uh, yeah, you know, what's the number one health problem in the world? And like the cardiologist said heart disease, nutritionist said poor diet, and you know the pediatrician said lack of vaccination or, or whatever. You know, it's it's like every every different field. A doctor thought that their field dealt with the number one health problem, um, and it turned out that the answer was um, waterborne diseases, or you know, basically poor drinking water. Um, so you know they all they all got it wrong, um, and it there's this it's like mentioned there, there's a saying that when all you have is a hammer everything looks like a nail, um, and it's and I think that's kind of to me that's kind of a uh, critique of, uh, of the sort of rule by experts and and I I see there's this sort of over specialization in our society, um, yeah every uh, the whole I mean, that that's. I think why I've had a lot of trouble kind of fitting into job market and uh, you know finding a, a definite career in study because I've I've never been um, big into specialization. I've, I've always been kind of a big picture kind of guy, um, and and, I, and that's what I think is that too much specialization prevents you from seeing the big picture, um, and and I think that you know kind of leadership is needed to um, you know provide a vision I need to bring in the experts needed to accomplish that vision so so no I mean we can't all make informed choices on uh, you know on uh, on every issue but we can uh, you know make we can make choices that um, uh, yeah, that you know describe something we want to do and then uh, the experts can come in and figure, figure out how we're going to do that. Um, so you know, so so I, th I think that uh, you know, it, we obviously we don't want to micromanage everything that we do. I mean, that's in part why we why we have a market economy is to, is that uh, you know ta is that uh, tasks like that get distributed among people who. Um, who, who know what they're doing? Um, anyway, an another issue I have with uh, "quote unquote" experts is um, a, a tendency towards um, forming a, what I call priesthood. Um, I, I mentioned to Mr. Kurt uh, in another video, of a book I was reading by Rupert Sheldrake. Um, called Morphic Resonance, and this actually a, a revised version of an earlier book he wrote called A New Science of Life, uh, which he published in like 1981. Uh, and when it was first published, there was a review of that book in Nature magazine, where where the uh, uh, where the reviewer called it quote a good candidate for burning. So you see, I mean the and there, here the, the the priesthood of science is kind of replaced the priesthood of religion. It, it's like um, yeah, even in the hard sciences which pride themselves so much on uh, you know op being open-minded and uh, you know being empirical and looking at the results uh, even even there it, you know there's a tendency towards um, you know creating a priesthood where, where, um, the, the, where we decide uh, you know what ideas are canonical and which ones are heretical, and and so even Rupert Sheldrake and, and Rupert Sheldrake you know, has strong credentials. I mean, he he was part of the Royal Society before he started publishing his uh, biological heresies. So I mean, it's not uh, it's not that he's just some kook who who came up with with this, but 
I mean, you know, he has to, because he's such a persona non grata among uh, other biologists, he kind of has to, uh, you know, reach out to ordinary people like me and uh, try to convince them. And obviously, you know, that's long long term. That's not a uh, uh, you, um, that's not a strategy you can you can uh, rely totally on. But you know, you can hopefully inspire a generation of more open-minded biologists who can test his theories and, you know, um, yeah, in, in any case, um, I, I guess, you know, my, my, my point, I guess, is that people who have specialties in certain disciplines, um, don't necessarily see the big picture in how their discipline fits together with other disciplines and, and how, uh, that, it, and um, yeah, it, it, and and how to sort of accomplish a broader vision, and um, and and so in in some sense, I think we ought to ed educate a society where where you know, in addition to training experts, we also ought to train people who you know to see the big picture, and and I think that's part of what leadership is. So. Um, in any case, uh, thanks for listening. Peace.